how do you raise your value as a woman? And there are a number of things you can do. In fact, I talk about three common ways women work to raise their value, but I want to share just one simple thing. It's simple, but it's not easy that every woman can do and, and something that we need to do. And in the Iconic Womanhood Circle, which is my coaching community, where women gather, where we are connected and we meet every day and kind of talk about how we can live our best life and the different things we can do in every facet of our lives. We are actually working on this from today, right? Yesterday, we started talking about it first day of the year. And today we are kicking it into high gear. And I'm going to share this with you guys on TikTok. So here's the thing that you can do if you want to raise your value. Number one, a simple thing, not easy, simple. Raise your standards. Raise your standards for what you will accept going forward, period. Raise your standards in your personal relationships, professional relationships, for vendors, for... This is why women shouldn't teach other women how to get in relationships. This is why women shouldn't teach other women how to get in relationships. She's already talking about raising your value. And to raise your value, you have to raise your standards. Like... Not humble yourself, not try to understand what the man wants from a relationship standpoint, but raise your standards like that's going to help the relationship. Or platonic, whatever it is, raise your standards. Stop tolerating the intolerable. Stop managing the unmanageable. Stop settling for the bare minimum. Stop settling for low effort. Be willing to say no, right, so that you can say yes to what you really want. But here's the thing I really want to tell you. A lot of women say that they've raised their standards and they're telling everybody what they will and will not accept and how they are this, this year, this is a new year and I'm not accepting less anymore. But let me tell you something really critical. It doesn't matter what you say if you are accepting less from yourself. Because if you say I'm not accepting less from other people, but really you tell yourself I'm going to do this, like I'm going to get up and go to the gym and then you don't go do it or you make a promise to yourself and you break your own promise to yourself. Let me tell you, you are negating every other thing in your life. You are negating your word because if you can't keep your own standards for yourself then what you are essentially saying energetically and inviting is you're inviting people who won't keep your standards. They won't hold your standards because you yourself aren't holding them. So the first place you have to raise your standards is within yourself to say, from this moment on, I am going to do X, Y, Z. <coughs> so for example, I'm going to honor my own word. I am not going to play myself cheap. For example, for me, I invest heavily in myself. And so I expect and attract people who pour into me, people who want to invest in me, people who want to give to me because I give to myself. I don't nickel and dime myself. I'm not cheap with myself. So you have to start being what you say. So I've been asked. See, this is why male improvement will always be women improvement. This is why male improvement will always be women improvement. A whole bunch of guys walk in the classroom and the first thing they will say is that you got to get your money right, get your mind right, get your body right. We will tell you you got to get your money right, your mind right, and your body right. These are all things that will help you in the world and in relationship. These are all things that will help you in the world in the relationship. Women walk in a class and another woman is teaching them, raise your standards. Don't accept cheap stuff. S say no to men more often. Like, literally, as soon as they walk in a the class, they're going to be like, whatever standards you have, women, raise it. If you feel like a million is, 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 is a lot of money, dream bigger. <laughs> as soon as they walk into the classroom, the, the coach will start saying things like manifestation. Believe in whatever you want to believe in and ask for it. Demand it. Breathe in it. Live in it. Like we man walk into class and it's a motivation class or a male improvement. And he will say, you got to get your money right. If you work in one job, that's not enough. Get a second one. Get some side hustles. If you go into the gym, we look at you, be like, you're not going enough. Get your body right. 
if you're not mentally competent, we will challenge your mental and be like, you got to get your mind right. Men are improving other men. We're, we're competing. We're telling other guys, get right. We're improving other men mentally, physically, and financially. Women are just pushing them more into delusion. Whatever your standards are, raise it. Whatever your standards are, raise it. What kind of nonsense? They already have dumb standards. <laughs> Most of their standards, they can't even reach it themselves. And then here's the funny thing. If they do raise their standards, can they keep that man with them standards? If they meet that caliber of man, how would, again, they don't teach these women how to keep these guys. Because these guys will approach some of these women. That's the fun thing. They will approach some of these women. They will somehow see these women. They might even lay in bed with these women. You have to teach these women how to keep the men. That, the problem is not the standards or the approach. is teaching modern women how to keep men. That is the problem. The problem with modern men is teach them how to be more masculine, be more in their finances, get your money right, get your mind right. They got to be more competent. They got to get their, their, their body right, go to the gym, <laughs> get that physique right. It don't matter if you don't got to be an incredible heart, but get a right physique. It's just it's training of a lot of things. All these things will build a better man. All these things will build a better man for the relationship and for the outside world. These things are all going to translate to everything. Her raising her standards would do absolutely nothing for a relationship. If she meets a man of that caliber, they're going to be like, okay, what now? I'm going to raise my standards. I don't get what you're saying. You're in a relationship now. What are you going to do? I'm going to raise my standards. Did that lady not teach you how to be a, you know, more feminine, how to work with a man and stuff like that? You know, be in a relationship. They're not teaching them nothing about keeping a man. And that is the biggest, like, it should be the biggest thing. Male improvement. I believe every male podcast always say, man, go get some money, man. Get your life together. Because he knows that to get money, you got to work. It, it requires a work ethic, a focus. That's not women. You have to have a focus, a drive. When we say go out there, he, he's going to struggle trying to get that money. He's going to go through world tri um, tribulation and stuff like that. All this trial and tribulation. Men have to go through it. So when we say we're creating a male group and we say male improvement, you have to go out there and struggle and fight and climb to be successful. Women will create a friend group or whatever, a group of manifestation group. Tell them some, oh, you know, we just got to raise our standards. Believe in yourself. Whatever you want is going to come to you. How will that keep a man? How does that translate to real world stuff? Like they don't make no sense. And she'll say, oh, you know, I'm not taking pennies on nickels. What do that have to do with a relationship? <laughs> like, how does that keep a relationship? If you say, I'm not going to accept, okay, you're going to keep not accepting less from every single man. And every single man going to be like, you don't do nothing. You just keep talking about raise my standards, manifestation. That's not how you keep it. And that's why I say male improvement, this is not a sexist thing. This is literally just a logic thing. Male improvement will always be female positivity, female improvement, female femininity, whatever classes, is literally worthless. Because they teach them the wrong things. This should be the number one thing is to teach them how to keep a man. That's the biggest thing that they, they can't follow. How to keep a man. One of the biggest things will be keep your physique. Keep your physique. Learn how to cook. Learn how to pick the right leader. Those things will matter. Telling a woman to raise her standards is the most idiotic thing to say to a woman. Raise her standards. What, how, what does that mean? Don't take pennies to a nickel. I won't let a person spend less than I spend on myself. How does that translate into a good relationship? How does that benefit the relationship? Him spending bread on you doesn't build a relationship. <laughs> but, it, you know, it, like I said, male improvement will always be women improvement. Like, it's just, I, I don't even get it. It's, it's just teaching each other how to be single. And women are like, oh, we're taking the course. We're going to sign up. Teach me how to not post. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Darling.